Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome back to our home edition remodel project thing. Donovan's like, Matt, hurry up and do this so we can start working. <laughs> hurry along so we can destroy this part of the house. <laughs> we got a demo to do. Yeah, it's demo day. So to sort of catch everybody up, let's take a look at the plans real quick. See uh, what we're gonna be doing out here. So we'll be going from this sort of like jut in situation here to this sort of less jutted situation. So we're bringing this wall out flush with the great room. And as you can see back here, we've got that step. This wall is gonna essentially come across here to be something like that. And that's where the, uh, the kitchen sink and the refrigerator is gonna go. So this corner right here, that corner right there. And there's what our sort of finished area is gonna look like. It's a new bumped out area with a little roof on top and really nothing going on below except those two support posts. So the uh, the general plan is to leave in place. So we'll be working kind of around it. We'll separate the deck from the house and reattach it to our new addition. So we're essentially gonna put a beam in here and some stuff on the sides and build up a wall and build up a roof and all that stuff. So small change of plans after some thought. It uh, probably makes a little more sense to do all the demo now while the deck is still in place and we have a lot of easy access to move. So this roof thing is coming off first and then I think we'll probably strip all the siding. For you. Yeah, I would just pile all this stuff in the telehandler because it's all small and
gotten in most of them. Yes. Down here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so once again, on the on this side of the house, we have a similar situation with the water planting. All the water from the valley falls down, hits the deck, and you know, splashes back. And rots out the house. So our trim boards are a little mushy. Bondo. What do you think about that? You throw some epoxy in there and a little epoxy, a little bondo. <laughs> we'll feather it out, you know. Feather it out with a little caulking and <laughs> paint. We're good. <laughs> At least I think they flat this one. The other ones I don't think they flat properly. They didn't have this piece in. Yeah, no, they didn't. They? Actual flashing. So the majority of these screws are uh, not coming out, so this is going to be a less graceful deck removal than uh, the backyard for sure. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. It is November 9th. Here's our uh, roughly demolished opening. So we're getting ready to remove our uh, floor joists from the deck. That's the only last little bit of demo to do before we start framing our new stuff, which is super exciting. We got these deck boards up here because someone last night didn't want to carry them down. Who would that be? <laughs> the guy who's addicted to telehandlers. You. <laughs> Alright, fine. Uh, it's also wearing off on you though. Okay. It is. You're getting too used to it. it, is, it is get, I'm getting really, really spoiled with the, <laughs> the equipment of like, oh, let's move that over here now. You're, you're never going to survive another job again. Never. <laughs> so Don was down there erecting our temporary wall to uh, support these uh, joists before we chop them off and remove them from the deck. And you can see a lot of these joists aren't in super great shape anyway. So you can see this line here, that's the drip line where the uh, the old awning thing was on top of the door. So the water dripped right there and it sort of damaged a lot of that stuff. So it's kind of nice if we're gonna remove it anyway. This one's in really rough shape. It's uh, mushy. <laughs> and of course we had that mushy corner over there from all the rain coming off this valley. So we're gonna leave that section of the deck gone so that the rain water off this valley just goes right down into the rock area down there. So did you have that uh, structure engineer to support this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and 
everything's plum and everything's cool. super super duper plum. Yep. You know, it looks plum on camera. <laughs> Rim Jordan board is ripped down. Really? Yep. So what? To match it, an inch and a half short. Oh. Surprise. Look, the only thing I got to worry about on this side is that the floor matches. That's true. Time to measure for our post, or one of the posts, I guess. Hope so I get it over where it's supposed to be. <laughs> got your scraper. Cut my scraper. Is that my, my, my micro bevel on here? Saw looks so tiny and cute. I know it next, does. next to this giant beam. <laughs> That's a pretty damn good cut, too. You're proud of that. Yep. Coming in from four different ways and then cutting down the middle and it's still like... It still looks like it actually worked.
We're going to have to pull this out one more time anyway. Because we don't have our brackets. Because they're in the mail. They're ma they manufactured them. So nice of them. Just for us. Because they don't make one to fit this. <laughs> So we got our pair of LVLs on the outside set and both together and now we're working on a, a second double thing. So this is the hanger we're installing here. With it being a blind hanger, the fasteners that attach it to the ledger are behind or hidden behind the, the joist of the beam that is supporting. Whereas the ones we used so far have been this style where the, uh, the hanger uh, fasteners are accessible from the outside. And these ones you can see have some kind of reference thing, so those little tabs allow this thing to get its height set, which makes these far less annoying to install than these. You want a few more in there? Well, being the whole floor system hanging off these. Well, you know. The fridge is on the other, on the other side. Bring it 
shrimp router in here. Again, if you'd like. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna leave it all hacked up on the edge. I think it looks nice. Oh, I made it for the reach it. I need a little more. Uh, I'm good. A little what? The little bow in the middle. You got about an eighth. In the middle? Yeah, it's bow, in. bow in towards the wall, towards the house. Got it? Alright, let's check it. Good? Yeah, that's straight. Okay. Let's call it good. I'm calling it. Call it good. I call it good. I get to be the one who calls it today. Yeah, maybe I should plug in the screw gun. Now, some of you were interested in the glue that's in here. So this is some, some kind of proprietary polyurethane foamy glue stuff in a uh, spray foam kind of gun. Then you can also buy the cleaner you can run through the gun as well. Outside corner, good. I'll just get a, a wrap in this way. So our floor is all in place now. Time for some walls. So Donovan's doing the layout of our uh, plates. So in this wall we have three windows. And then that's... Is that all for the exciting things? Sure. <laughs> Before we start framing the wall, Donovan's just checking the, uh, the actual ceiling height on the house to make sure we end up at the right location. Uh, finding out that is... Uh, Kind of an important detail with additions and remodels and things is figuring out where everything is. oversized my window yep so it's the windows are 33 on the rough and then I added six inches for the 
the double. And then I add another inch. Because this side we might strip. Yeah. For um, put sheetrock on. That side we can't because of the foundation. Right. So I based it on this so it might have to shift that way yeah. once we get into the framing. Makes sense. So. All right, so the sun is setting pretty quickly, and I think it's going to be it for uh, progress today. That's going to be about it for this video. This is kind of where we're at, getting ready to uh, finish up framing some walls. And tomorrow we'll pull this window out and do all that and start putting our, our, our roof on here. So that is going to do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. Greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the home edition or anything back in the shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have, or I'll just ask Donovan, he'll answer your question. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. If he's feeling if he's feeling I'm good feeling about it. it. Yeah. As he cleans his gun. You decided to spend 20 instead of 50. 20 instead of 50. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> happy woodworking.